Sue from Very Spatial TV, and today we're down in the lovely Wharf District uh, here in Morgantown, West Virginia, and we thought this would be a great place to talk about a topic that um, is really kind of interesting, and that is urban geography and the history of urban spaces and how even if, if you, especially if you live in a city, if you look all around you, um, what you see is actually often an evolution of how your city has been formed and how the places have changed. And so, for example, here in the Wharf District, a hundred years ago, this was actually a small little town on the south side. It was called South Morgantown, and it had its own uh, fire department, uh, houses, uh, its own uh, little industry back behind me it was a carriage works that sold carriages as far away as Pittsburgh and even the Mississippi River area. And then it went through, as Morgantown did, an industrial boom in the early 1900s. And so factories built up down here. Um, the railroad was just behind me, um, over to the other side of these buildings. And it was really an area that was industrialized, as many waterfronts and cities in America became. And then as industry kind of lost its, its impetus and a lot of that moved overseas, you saw these areas die out on the riverfronts. And so if you went to a lot of cities, in, especially in the Northeast of the United States, um, in the 60s and 70s, um, you saw a lot of empty buildings and really the waterfront areas were kind of not nice. And, <laughs> and urban renewal um, was an effort uh, in the early 70s to actually get rid of a lot of that blight. Um, and then what's happened in the 19, especially the 1980s, 90s, and even up till 2000s is people became interested in revitalizing waterfronts. And this is an example of what's going on here in Morgantown. You can see behind me a lot of new building. Um, they tore down a lot of the uh, derelict structures. And the idea is, is that this place is reinventing itself again as a center for retail. Um, there's offices down here. There's upscale uh, condo housing um, off in the distance. And it, the idea is a place that once was a small extension to Morgantown became an industrial area. Um, then it was kind of a symbol of the loss of, of industry. And it's been revitalized in a process that uh, urban geographers call gentrification. And now they're seeing a new interest in terms of retail and things like that. So there's a rail trail behind me where people can um, bike and walk. And it also allows access to other parts of town. Um, but the idea is, is that cities are changing all the time. And a place like this, you might, a lot of you will have in your own cities where you just simply can go and see how over time the whole city itself has changed. So next time you're out and about in your city, um, kind of take a look around and think, you know, how has it changed since you've been there? Or what can you look at to show kind of the character of the city? Or think about how you might describe your city to others um, who maybe have never been there or who are coming to visit. What would you take them to see? And, you know, how, what do you like about your city? And what's changed that maybe you don't think is for the best? But all of that that you look at is actually part of understanding the geography of urban places. So. Um, I think it's really interesting. There's a lot on this. A lot of uh, geographers professionally take a uh, look at urban geography. So it's a really interesting topic and one that, that I really look at from a historical aspect especially.